Hey, hello from Columbus WDC. Uh, today we're starting off uh, taking a look at some kale and cabbage. Uh, starting to roll in down here. We uh, have some really nice looking six inch stuff. Um, also have uh, some quartz we do uh, that make it nice for, you know, doing a container, refreshing it, uh, or even going into the ground. But, you know, kale and cabbage, I think, uh, is one of the best things to get in the ground going into the fall for, you know, color. Um, I've seen these things last, you know, well into the, the early winter, depending on the season. Um, but just a nice alternative to, you know, mums and, and pansies and things. And, again, a lot of varieties to choose from, a lot of different colors, and, uh, you know, just really nice, neat look. And here we're looking at, this is just an example here, this is one of the quartz. Um, and again, you can see this thing is, uh, you know, quite quite large, uh, actually uh, almost as big as some of the six inch stuff. But the container size allows it to be, you know, squeezed into containers or uh, planted in mass. And uh, again, great value here. Hey, check out this nice big block of Hacking the Cola, all gold. Uh, these are in 19 centimeter. And again, uh, nice fresh crop here. Great plant, very popular, uh, very tolerant plant. You know, again, it does uh, accept a good deal of shade. I, in my experience, I guess I have seen it go a little bit more on the green side if it's in too deep a shade. And here's another shot. Uh, again, you can see the breeze blowing this one. Again, nice, uh, nice foliage on it. You know, compact. You're probably looking at maybe 10, 12 inches high. Um, you know, low maintenance and uh, a lot of color here. You know, uh, very interesting, especially again with the the brightness on the foliage. Yeah, here's a perennial that's great for the cutting garden. This is Heliopsis uh, Summer Nights, and these are in two gallons. Um, again, this flower you just can't be beat. I mean, it is a uh, very intense yellow, um, you know, often called a uh, false or perennial uh, sunflower, and uh, for good reason, but, you know, uh, nice, hardy, native plant. Does get some size, again, probably in the back of a uh, mixed perennial bed is best. You're probably looking at, you know, three, three and a half feet. But uh, as you can see, again, gorgeous, gorgeous flower. Here's another nice look. Uh, this is a block of Carrick's uh, Ice Dance, which is another small grass that uh, does fairly well in, in part shade to shade. Uh, again, not as vibrant as the uh, Hakanakloa, but again, nice variegation. Um, you know, good looking thick blade. And again, just another option for uh, uh, more of a shady spot, um, getting that grass look in there. Here we're looking at uh, three gallon limelight hydrangea. Uh, just wanted to point out here we uh, had received quite a few new ones in and, and we're nice uh, into a nice fresh batch. Uh, these have uh, been cut back obviously and they're uh, you know leafed out and starting to set bud and, and uh, bloom again here. So uh, again three gallon looking fantastic right now. Same thing here these are uh, little limes in a two gallon and uh, again at the same point nice crop here cut back uh, starting to set new bud and uh, just a great shape here this would uh, be great retail or install uh, just nice looking material hey check out this block of firelight spirea these things are looking fantastic right now uh, this is again another uh, fairly compact uniform one this is maybe two two and a half three feet uh, again these are a three gallon and again value is just enormous here this plant is uh, is in perfect shape and again uh, lots of attributes on this one the flower, the new growth foliage, and uh, typically uh, decent fall color. Here we're looking at a one gallon anemone. This is Fantasy Cinderella. Uh, fall bloom, you know, nice long bloom from late summer to fall. Uh, beautiful color on the flower here you can see, and, and obviously this one is uh, heavily budded, but you know, nice compact perennial, um, easy maintenance on this one. And again, uh, a lot of color from the fall here. Here we're looking at three gallon dwarf fountain grass. Uh, these plants are uh, great shape, nice full, really full plant here. Uh, these are uh, in plume, uh, got good quantities on these, and these are actually on special. Here's another recent arrival at WDC, this is Father Gilla, these are in a two gallon. And again, Father Gilla makes a great plant for fall color. Um, also has the benefit of the spring flower and nice lush green foliage during the growing season. And fall color can be quite spectacular on these, uh, ranging from, you know, some reds and oranges uh, to some yellow. So, uh, again, uh, great to have back in stock here. Got another gorgeous new arrival down here, a uh, fresh batch of, uh, lo and behold, butterfly bush. Um, again, these are three-gallon plants here. Uh, as you can see, the one we're looking at is uh, nice and full. A lot of, lot of color on it, a lot of foliage. 
Um, again, this plant is uh, obviously a high demand plant, very popular dwarf uh, selection. Uh, allows you to use the butterfly bush in uh, areas that you uh, previously could not because of the size. And uh, with this one, you know, you're looking at uh, probably about two foot, maybe two and a half. And, uh, you know, still gives you all the attributes, if not even a little better uh, on, on the bloom. Yeah, I just wanted to stop again and, and look at the grasses. Um, kind of a overview of what we've got here. This is just one house, uh, some zebra grass. Um, got some panicum down at the end. And again, we are uh, nice stock on these uh, threes, twos. We got some 19 centimeters, um, lots of variety to choose from. Here's a shot of some three gallon uh, Blue Princess Holly. Uh, again, these uh, nice body plant, as you can see, a lot of uh, nice flush growth on these. And again, uh, you know, several of these to choose from. Just wanted to end here by saying thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, we'll have new updates for you next week. Um, again, if there's anything you need, don't hesitate to give us a call.